Welcome back to a new forging video. Today I'm going to make a knife out of three different steels. For the cutting edge I use silver steel and the steel you can see here is part of a drive wheel from a tank. It, it is going to be in the middle and on a spine I'm going to use a mystery steel that I got from the junkyard. I'm cutting all the pieces to the right length. Here I'm cleaning all the surfaces to facilitate the forge welding. Here you can see the layers and on, on the top is the spine of the knife. Just using a little bit of tech welding to hold the pieces in place for the forge welding. The forge welding is always the same, therefore I'm not going to go into great detail. It is quite important to make sure that all the metal parts stick together before I go on and continue with the operation. The stress test is going to be what I do here, forging perpendicular, because if, if it doesn't stick very well it's going to get torn apart. But it looks good. The whole steel you see here is good enough for two knives. Therefore I continue to draw it out and then cut it in half. The one thing that I neglected to think about first was to remember which side was up and which side was down. But luckily in the end I just managed to remember somehow. I'm slowly but steadily going to shape the knife starting with the basic shape at first and then continuing with the tang. I want to make a very simple looking knight, like in the basic shape that they used to have in the early medieval times, something like that. I'm going to shape the edge of the knife and therefore I use this tool for the hardy hole to give me a better angle to work with.
once the forging is done, I continue at the grinder. I just want to give the knife a basic shape and then continue forging. I'm forging the tip of the knife and um, the cutting edge is on top and I bend it towards the bottom to make sure that the cutting edge kind of flows along and goes all the way to the point. Stamping in my maker's mark and time for some more grinding. This time I'm going to give the basic shape and then prepare for the heat treatment. Heating it to 820 degrees. And I also have a new quenching oil. The blade hardened very well. And more grinding and hand sanding. For the handle I'm going to use bog oak which should be around 600 to 1500 years old. a slow curing epoxy to permanently fix the blade to the handle. I use acetone to remove the excess glue. The cross section of the handle should have the form of a teardrop. And the last step is hand sanding. I really like the shape and the look of the knife. It looks kinda old and that's what I wanted to achieve. Three different kinds of steel, bog oak and a joy to make things. How did you like the knife? Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon again. Thank you. Bye bye.